Hello everyone, I'm Tronic. Today I'm going to show you how to render realistic glass objects through use of my Mentor Ray rendering engine. First of all, please take a look at these two pictures and carefully compare the shadows in these two pictures. You will see the shadows in these two pictures look so different. The shadow in this picture looks a bit darker, and the rendering result of light passing through transparent objects is incorrect. However, the shadows in this picture look brighter. Meanwhile, the result of light passing through glass objects in this picture is correct, because this picture demonstrates a nature phenomenon, which is called caustic effect. This effect is a perfect solution of rendering realistic glass objects. Now let me show you how to make it. Okay, now as you can see. This is our scene, and the ground has been assigned to the material, but the glass cup hasn't. So we have to assign material to glass cup. Okay, turn on hypershade and create a phone shader. Okay, then go to utilities and create two blend colors nodes, one and two. Okay, now um, please create sampler info. Okay, um, now please double click on this node, rename it, transp, BC. Transp refers to transparency, and I'm going to use this node to control the rendering result of transparency channel. Then change color one to white. Change color two to gray. Okay. Now please double click on this node. Rename it, reflect, flagged, BC. Okay, um, I'm going to use this node to control the rendering result of a reflectivity channel. Now, um, change color one to gray, change color two to white. Okay. Now please turn on connection editor and select this node below left. Select this node reload right. Now please select fashion ratio and then click on Blender. OK. Now select this node. Reload right. And then click on Blender. Now um, please select this node. Reload left. Um, and then Select phone shader, reload right. Select output channel and transparency channel to connect these two attributes. Okay. Now um please select this node, reload left. Select output or channel and reflectivity channel right here. OK. Close connection editor. 
Now, double click on phone shader, rename it, gloss, cop M. M represent materials. Change the color to black. Decrease the diffuse to zero. Increase cosine power to 65. Change specular color to white. Then go to ray trace options section. Click on refractions. Increase refractive index to 1.5. Refraction limit 9. Now, please select glass cup in the outline. Right click on phone shader. Assign material to selection. OK. Now, I'm going to show you how to properly tweak rendering settings. Open rendering settings window. And select Manta Ray as the rendering engine. Then click on Quality tab. Select Production Quality from Quality Preset drop down menu to enhance the rendering quality. Now please go to Ray Tracing section. Um, I would suggest you to increase the number of shadows to enhance the rendering quality of shadows. In this tutorial, I'm going to increase this number to 20. Then go to Features tab. Click on Caustics. Now uh, go to Interact Lighting tab. Then go to Caustics section. Now please make sure Caustics has been checked. Then increase accuracy to 200. Caustic filter type Gauss. Okay, uh, now mm, please close the rendering settings window. Okay, now I'm going to create a light to emit photons. So create a spar light. Then uh, rename it key light. Okay, now go to top view and then move the light to the position you like. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to move the light to here. Then go to uh, side view. Move the light to here. OK. Now, um, please change the color of light to yellow. Yellow. OK. Then, select quadratic as decay right. Increase the intensity of light to 800. Then increase cone angle to 120. Penubra angle 10. Drop off 5. Then uh, please go to Shadows section and click on Use Right Trace Shadows to get appropriate shadow map. Okay, now let's take a look what will happen. 
Okay, mm -hmm. not bad. However, the shadow of this glass cup is still incorrect, so we have to fix it. Keep this image. Then, uh, please go to Monterey section. Then go to Caustic and Global Illumination section. Now, click on Emit Photons to enable Photon Emission feature. Then change the Photon color to yellow. OK. Now, um, increase Photon Intensity to 16,000 to enhance the intensity of Photons. Then decrease the exponent to 1.5 to get brighter photons. Then increase caustic photons to 40,000 to enhance the quality of caustic's effect. OK. Now render again. OK, now as you can see, the caustics effect is right here, here, and here. Now, um, uh, you could try to uh, increase the exponent to get darker photons. For example, 2. Then, render again. Now, as you can see, the photons become darker. See? Mm -hmm. So you could try to uh, decrease or increase this number to get brighter or darker photons. You could also increase or decrease this number to control the quality of caustic's effect. Now, um, as you can see, the glass cup also looks like more uh, realistic. Brilliant. That's it. I hope this tutorial would be helpful. And thanks for watching.